Hey guys, this is Absin Ishmael and as part of WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16, you are able to change the order of position of objects within the layout grid, especially when you switch it to Flexbox. So in today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to accomplish that. So I'm going to go ahead to launch my WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16 and then I'm going to search for the layout grid too. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to um, bring it in here. Now I'm going to create three columns, so I'll double click on this. And then I'll create one more column to make it three and then resize the columns to have even um, size as well as even spacing among them. So I have three columns in here. I would want to come back and just do some basic configuration as part of this. So let me set pattern to the top to maybe 20 pixels and then to the bottom also 20 pixels. And then I'll click on OK. Now I want to be able to fill this um, layout grid with some object so i'll come back to my toolbox and then i'll search for the card two now the card two by default uh, let me just search for the card two instead the card two by default has some you know content or information in it so i'll just put this in here i'll copy this and then i'll duplicate it and put one in here and then finally put one in here as well so if i go ahead to preview this realize i have just um, three columns filled with three items in here so let me just come back and then take a look at what we can do next from here. Now to be able to differentiate these items, it's very important for me to um, fill them with different information. So it's easier. Once I switch to a different breakpoint, I'm able to identify which one is which and so on. So let me just change this to, um, let's just say second um, card. And then let me change this also to third card. And then click on OK and then change this to first card. So and then click on OK. And then to make it much more even interesting, let me change the colors um, of the buttons in here. So this, let me just change the color to maybe this. And then change the color of this also to something different. So it's easier to know which ones are for which. So I'll click on OK and then click on OK. So just as I said earlier, if I preview this, this is how this is going to show. Now when I come back in here and then I go ahead to create my breakpoint. So let me just create a breakpoint for 320 and then create one for 480 as well. So I'll click on OK and then click on OK. Now once I switch to these breakpoints, let me just preview them as well. So I uh, let me just come to my browser and then switch to responsive design mode to so realize this is um, these are my cards and they are in the same order I have them for desktop. So even if I expand this, it is still going to be the same until it gets to the desktop, which is still in the same arrangement or position. Now, if I come back here to the web builder and double click on this, you realize that there's a section over here for order, but at this point, it's actually grayed out. You don't have access to it. Now, to be able to enable this or um, have access to it to change the others for these items. You have to come to grid system and then change it from default to Flexbox. So once you change it to Flexbox, you have access to make changes to this particular section or even add any form of information you want to add in here. Now, after enabling this or changing the grid system to Flexbox, this is where you have the ability to change the order or the position of these um, columns in here. So per what we've done so far, this is our first card, this is our second, this is our third. Now, I want a situation whereby once we switch to 480 pixels, this becomes our first, this becomes our first, this becomes our, um, this becomes our first, this becomes our second, this becomes our third. And then once we switch to um, 320 pixels, we want this to be, um, this to be our first, this to be our second, this to be our third. So that's what we are going to do. Now, since this is the default, I wouldn't want to do anything over here. Uh, click on OK and then switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint. Double click on my grid and then I'm going to set this, which is now going to be my first. This is going to be my second and then this is going to be my third. So you realize the positions are set. This is third, this is first. Now, once I click on OK, you notice a change. So let me just click on OK. You notice that the arrangement of the object in my um, grid has actually changed. Now, I want to be able to change this also. So you notice that this actually affected a change for all the grid. This isn't what I want. So to help you to prevent this from happening, there's a setting you need to enable on your grid. So you come back to the settings and then you set the overflow to hidden. So this is going to prevent whatever you set 
in one particular um grid um, that is um breakpoint from the other so let me click on ok and then i'm going to change this back to its default uh, position so uh this is going to be my first here this is going to be my second and then this is going to be my third so if i come here you notice that whatever is here isn't affecting what is here that's what i want to achieve and then when i come back to 320 i'm going to change the order so this is going to be my first this is going to be my second and this is going to be my third and then i'll click on ok and you realize that this has changed so to be able to validate this let me preview this in the browser and as you can see we have this our second third first okay this is not what we wanted but let me just come to the browser and then once i switch take notice of the color so we have blue we have uh, move and then we have this um, color here now once i switch you realize it changes and then even when i come further i, I think this didn't change because it was almost having the same settings as this so basically this is how you can go about to um that is change the order of positions of that is object within your layout grid especially when you set them to flexbox and wizard web builder version 16. thank you very much for watching bye for now